Michael in this pincast is to help you learn how to sort transactions into the correct section of the cash flow statement. Remember, our cash flow statement has three main sections. Cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from investing activities, and cash flow from financing activities. I'm going to list some transactions and I want you to tell me what section you would put it in. OA for operating activities, IA for investing activities, and FA from financing activities. And to tell me if it's an inflow or outflow, let me list some transactions. Here we go. What section would you put net income? Hopefully you would list that as part of operating activities is an inflow. What about the sale of land? Cash received from the sale of land. Land is another asset that would belong in investing activities because that's where we do our other assets and the sale of land would be an inflow. How about dividend issuance of stock? You issued stock. That is a financing activity, and it's also an inflow. You issued some of your own stock. How about dividend revenue? Revenue you received on an investment. Where does revenue go? Part of net income. Operating activities as an inflow. Compare that to dividends paid. Dividends paid is a financing activity. It's where you're paying your stockholders, and that would be an outflow. How about a payment on a bonds payable of your own? It's one of the ways that you finance yourself. That's a financing activity, and it's an outflow. How about the interest you paid on the bond? So the payment on the bond itself is principal, but what about interest you paid on the bond? Interest is part of net income, interest expense. It's an operating activity and it's an outflow. Students often have trouble deciphering between principal payments and interest payments. How about interest revenue you received on a bond investment? Hopefully, you'll say, operating activities as an inflow because that's part of your net income. What about the purchase of a building? A building's another asset, so it would belong under investing activities. That's where you look at your assets and it's an outflow. You purchased a building. How about a sale of equipment? What kind of an account is equipment? It's another asset, so it would be in investing activities, and this time you sold it, so it would be an inflow. How about changing accounts receivable? Accounts receivable changes with the recording of revenue would be an operating activity and another inflow. How did you do on sorting our categories? Remember, cash flow from operations includes net income and current assets and current liabilities. Investing activities is all other assets. And financing activities is debt, except for current liabilities, equity, common stock, retained earnings, treasury stock, dividends paid. That lands all of our accounts in the cash flow statement. Part of learning how to do a cash flow statement is learning how to sort the change in accounts into the appropriate section of the cash flow statement. Let me summarize. You can calculate what the change in cash is by looking at the change in every other account. And if you put the change of every account into the cash flow statement and you don't leave one off, not one, better put my other two accounts on there, huh? Then you will have captured the change in cash. 
here is cash isolated and here is 100% all other accounts if you look at the change in every account and put it in its right section of the cash flow statement you will have captured easily the change in cash